And I think as far as receiver goes, I think we have a lot of uh, uh, Sky Moore, Tony. We don't know what's going to happen with Justin Ross. I think we have a lot of younger guys already in the room right now. I think it's bringing the veteran presence in with those guys that I think that will probably happen in the offseason. I don't know. We'll we'll see. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know. Hey, hey, that'd be good. I, I, shit. Oops, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to, I, I would. I, I, that, I would like, hey, you know, I would definitely, definitely consider that move, you know, more than others, you know. And then we talk about Robert Woods. I, I guess I like Robert Woods. I like how that, that whole thing works with him, you know, if he's not going to be a whole lot of money. So, yeah, I mean, you, you could definitely, Oh, okay. Well, so I, I just did a T-Hop. I, w- I want to pull up what, what they're saying as far as what they're looking for to, to, to trade for him. Yeah. So they're looking for a second or a se- a second or some type of mid, mid-round mid pick packet. So what is it, a second, maybe a fifth or a third and something. Um, but Benjamin Albright, the Denver um, uh, writer, um, he said Kansas City is the team to watch for DeAndre Hopkins. That was, yes, that, that, that was uh, today. So really? okay, yeah. What's what's it cost? I mean, that's what you're looking at it. I mean, if he's, if that's what he's shoot. I, I think Diab would want to come and win a ring. Great atmosphere for him to come play in. Wonderful atmosphere. Mm-hmm. So being in Houston and Arizona, man, come to a, a you know championship team. Come on over here. They'll love it. They'll love it. I mean, it, it just kind of goes to whatever that we've talked about. And like the, the reports are that Juju wants about 15 million a year. Uh, MVS, if, if we keep him on the roster, about 13 million a year. Uh, so that's 28 million between two guys who they, you know, they, they had their, they, they had their, they had their shining spots last year. But yeah. like D Hop, you could put any quarterback with him. And look at his Houston Texans days, even before Watson got there. I mean, he had like, I mean, he, he, he had some tough, tough times before Watson got there. But like, you know, I just I think Hopkins is one of those is one of the elite talents that you only see in the NFL very very little. And I, to have him on our squad, I mean, for two years, thirty four million, seventeen a year. Oh. And that's the thing you're comparing seventeen million a year to Hopkins' talent, but Juju wants fifteen million dollars a year. It's like eh, if Juju's good, but he's not Hopkins. Oh man, I mean, like I said, Hop man, he could throw the ball anywhere. Both of them, like, he's unorthodox and he's running and catching and shoot. So. Pat, I'd love to have a guy like that to throw to, right? It'd be fun. Yeah, the one thing I've seen from some fans is said it's like, I don't want Pat to have to go into the thing, like what, what have to go into what he was with Tyreek, where if Kelsey wasn't open, he was only looking at Hop, at, at only at, only looking at Hill. If he we have Hopkins comes over here, he's only going to stare down Hopkins and he'll go back to Kelsey. It's like, I mean, I, I think he's grown a lot. I, I think this year really made him grow a lot. Having to throw to all these guys, Justin Watson, Marcus Kemp, and Asian Championship game, I think that's like that's the, the last thing that's going to happen if D Hop comes here. Oh yeah, and, and 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 to be honest with you, I think that's one of those things that you have to, uh, you know, explain. Like, look, here's the thing: we we spread the ball around. You are a number one receiver. We that's what we need a number one receiver. Okay, we need a number one. We don't have a number one receiver. He's the number one guy, no doubt, a receiver. So you still know more receiver. You're gonna get majority of the balls being thrown to you. And Kelsey, these young, these other guys around here are gonna get they're gonna get they cut too. That's just how it is. That's that's the way it works. So don't expect because we don't have we don't have to feed it to you like we did in, they did in Houston and you know uh you know Arizona where well, they didn't really feed it to him like that in Arizona, I don't think either. Uh but in Houston, they had to feed it to him. Shoot, there, there was no choice. So, but that was that was the he got to display his talent. He got to display that. So, why wouldn't you want that on the team? Come on. I'm, I'm looking at uh, his 2014. So, 2014 was his second year in the league. 76 catches, 1,200 yards, six touchdowns. He had Brian Fitzpatrick uh, as his main quarterback that year for 12 games. Fitzpatrick was a solid veteran quarterback, not yeah. Patrick Mahomes. Um, 2015, uh, 111 catches, 1,500 yards, 11 touchdowns. I'm looking at guys like Tom Savage. Uh, t- Brian Hoyer, Ryan Mallett, TJ Yates. Those were his quarterbacks that year. Gee, wow. I mean, those numbers he put up were like what, what Gonzalez was doing when, he, when, when we had, you know, we went with the kind of tough time with the different quarterbacks every year, like kind of the QB carousel. Right. 
Yeah. I mean, they, it, it, like, and that's the thing. That's, you know, a guy is that good where it doesn't matter who's throwing the ball. He'll put up numbers. And that's, that's, that's a special thing to, to do. Cause a lot of guys have, are so reliant on that. Right. Right. But, yeah. We'll see. I mean, I, if something comes up with this Hopkins thing, obviously it takes away a receiver from, I think something to draft. Um, and then you could probably see us going for like a, a, a veteran to fill up a, a, another spot, uh, maybe uh, a, like a one year kind of incentive deal. Um, to go with Hopkins to because you know we're gonna lose Hardman. Hardman's probably gonna get paid a lot of money. Juju's probably gonna get 15 mil he wants. Um, and then um Justin Watson, we could probably come back. I, I can see him coming back for something something small. Um, but yeah, a lot a lot of a lot of spots to fill in that receiver room. So the fact that there is some kind of noise with us with Hopkins, man, woo, that's exciting. Yeah, man. Uh, hey, <laughs> I'm, I'm on board. I'm on board. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out the best clips from Chief Concerns. And if you prefer to listen to the show, subscribe and follow us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and anywhere else you get your podcasts.